Hey guys, Tony Scale YT here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use my Discord self bot that I just released. So let's get started. First, there are five requirements. You must have a PC, laptop, or whatever that can run applications with administrator privileges or whatever. So not anything like Chrome OS or whatever, but like Windows, Linux, those were good. So if you have a PC or laptop that can run the script, that is all you need. Number two is a Discord account with Nitro to run most of the commands. Having Nitro is not required, but is highly suggested because most of the time it's not gonna work too well. Number three is node.js to actually execute the script. And then you're gonna also need Visual Studio Code to edit the code and then execute the code from Visual Studio Code. And then lastly, all you're gonna need is your Discord token. If you don't know how to get your Discord token, if you don't have it, then click on the top right and you will see a little icon that shows you how to get your Discord token. That is one of my videos. So follow that, pause the video, and then come back once you have your Discord token. But continuing, if you don't have Node.js downloaded and if you don't have Visual Studio Code downloaded, what we can do is go to nodejs.org and then download whatever the LTS version is on the left and then go through all the setup and everything. And if you don't have Visual Studio Code installed, we can go to code.visualstudio.com and then download for whatever your operating system is. Great. So once you have just your code and node.js, we could go back to Discord and you're gonna wanna join my server because my server has all the files you're gonna need. So we could do that by going to the description of this video and then clicking on the first link or you could just put it in manually. The invite code is this right here. I'll have it in the bottom of the screen, but join server. Once you are in the server, you're gonna see self-bot frame in main and you're gonna see the self-bot frame.zip. This is the self-bot frame, which is the self-bot without any of the commands. You can download the commands from the my command thing over here. In the future, I plan to make this public so people could upload their own commands and stuff like that, but we're gonna to go to self-bot frame.zip and then continue download. I have self-bot frame downloaded multiple times because I already failed doing this tutorial, but once you have the zip downloaded, you can go to your downloads folder in File Explorer or whatever you use, and then you're going to see the self-bot frame version, whatever, whatever. So right click and then extract all, and you can extract it to downloads, it doesn't matter. Once it is finished fully extracting, I'll catch up to you. But once you have the self bot frame folder fully extracted, you should see in downloads. So you just click on the self bot frame and then you're gonna see another self bot frame folder inside of it. What we're gonna do from here is minimize all the windows, not all of them, we need the self bot frame folder and then just drag this onto your desktop. And then inside the self bot frame folder, you should see all the commands and then packages and index, whatever. If you don't see that and if you see another um, self bot frame folder then drag the self bot frame folder back out onto desktop and that should be done but what we can do is close all these since we don't need them anymore and then go to visual studio code and once you have visual studio code open you're going to see this little start over here and if you don't see start then you can go to file open folder and then you're going to see desktop, or you can just go to desk, desktop and then find the self bot frame folder that you just put onto your desktop. Select folder, and it should open the folder. I don't know why it was already open, but I guess it was. But the first thing that we need to do is go to the config file, and then where you see paste token here, you're going to get the token that you got earlier from my other tutorials, or if you don't, or if you already have it, you don't need to watch my tutorial, but. Just paste your token here, and then make sure you click Control S to save the folder, not folder, the file, but from here, all you need to do is go to index.js, terminal, new terminal, and you have the terminal open over here, and then you can go to run and start debugging, or you can click at five, and then you want to run it with node.js. This is the code executor that we downloaded earlier. 
And if everything goes right, you should see Welcome to Tony Skull YT Selfbot script, and then you're gonna see your name, ID, and then you're gonna see set a prefix by typing in Discord channel set prefix. So we don't have a prefix set yet, so I'm going to set one right now, going into Discord. Well, since I don't have a channel to actually type it in, we're going I'm going to make my own server. And then I just have this little general channel over here, but you could also text it to a bot or some other person's server, it doesn't matter. But all we're gonna type is set prefix, and then your prefix can be whatever you want. I prefer um, the little question mark, exclamation mark, or the tilde, but I mostly use tilde, and this is where you're gonna mostly see me use. So set prefix to tilde. And then as you can see, it's going to say success, set your prefix to tilde. So if I just do one of the default commands, which you'll see in the explorer and then commands, you're going to see all of these. I'm going to try out the help command. So going back to discord, help, and then specify a command you need help with. I actually don't have any interesting commands since there isn't really much here besides loop, info, whatever. So I'm going to download some commands and how you do that is you go to my server and then you're going to see the my commands um, section and then you're going to want to download whatever you want. One interesting one that I think is joke. So as you can see in joke there is the file right here so you just click on download joke.js and then you're going to see how to use the command. So it says joke and then amount. So amount would be like five and then type joke three to get through random jokes and you can see the installation process it says download and put into your commands folder so how you would do that is open file explorer locate the self part frame folder and then you go to commands and then open another file explorer tab and then go to downloads and then you're going to see the command that you just downloaded so what you can do is drag the command from downloads into the commands folder for the self bot and then this it has been successfully implemented but as you can see it's just not drag and drop there are some that are just drag and drop but this one you have to download the package axios so how we do that is we're going to see this little copy icon so we can just click copy right here and then go back to visual studio code and how you download the package is by going into terminal and then you just click Control v and this will download the package axios if you don't download the required packages and if you don't have them already installed then the script will not work but restarting the script you will see that we have joke.js over here so if i go back to discord and then if i do joke three it will give me three jokes as you can see what do you call a cow with two legs lean beef Okay, the action's actually kind of funny, but that's pretty much it. If you want to do something simple, CY and CN, all you have to do is just, with these ones that just have the installation processes, put it in the commands folder, go to the download, and then just drag it and drop into commands folder, as I showed you earlier, since there's no packages that you have to install, but with things like AI, if you want to have AI in your self bot, you have to get things called like an API key. So how we would do that is download the self bot, or not the self bot, the AI folder, a folder file. Ugh, sorry, I'm tired. And then you'd have to download the open AI package. So click right here and then go to terminal, npmi open AI as we just copied. And then so down the open AI folder. And then there was another thing over here. Add this to your config.json file if you already don't have it. Open AI API key. So copy that. And then go to Visual Studio Code. And you're going to see config.json. And then just paste that from over here. And make sure that you put a comma after it. That is all you need. And if there's like a little error over here where it just looks all weird, make sure that there are commas on every single a definition that isn't the last one which you should keep the last one as long string of text because it's annoying and shouldn't really be at the top but with the API keys it's open AI so you would go to open AI API key and then you see open AI API and then you would go through all this, signing up, verifying your phone number, and making an account and stuff, and then you would be able to get your API key. 
And once you get your API key, you would go to config.json, paste your API key in here, and then the AI command would work from there. So if you guys have any questions, then feel free to message me on Discord, TonyScalbyT. And I will see you guys in the next video. So, peace.